Welcome to the deep dive. We're looking today at a really crucial hazard assessment for Europe, uh, specifically for early November 2025. That's right. And the main takeaway seems, well, pretty stark. A classic autumn pattern, but amplified, right, by climate change. Exactly. We're calling it hazard convergence. It's this period where you've got completely different major weather threats hitting at the same time. So late autumn floods in the West. Driven by moisture, yeah. And then almost simultaneously, early winter cold snaps, like blizzards hitting the east, all within about 10 days. Okay, let's unpack this. What's driving this dynamic system? What's the engine here? Well, the main engine is this uh, very deep, low-pressure trough just sitting over the North Atlantic. Think of it as a highly effective storm factory. Storm factory, okay. Yeah, it's just churning out these powerful frontal systems one after another, aimed you know, right at Europe. And there's something really specific about one of these initial systems, right? This bombogenesis. Ah, yes. It's <laughs> forecast for one of the first major lows. It means incredibly rapid intensification. Like a pressure drop of 24 millibars in 24 hours. That's huge. It is. And what's feeding it critically is the remnants of ex hurricane Melissa. So it's sucking in that leftover tropical warmth and moisture. Precisely. A massive injection of warm, moist air right into the system's development zone. Okay, but that tropical moisture needs the right conditions, doesn't it? Absolutely, and it finds them. This whole pattern is playing out over unusually warm oceans. The Atlantic and the Mediterranean sea surface temperatures, or SSTs, are anomalously high. And that connects to the bigger climate picture. Directly, Europe's warming faster than anywhere else, essentially. Right. Twice the global average rate since the 80s. All that extra heat in the oceans and atmosphere, that's the fuel. More evaporation, more moisture in the air. Exactly, a much juicier atmosphere, as you might say. It just drastically amps up the potential for really heavy precipitation when these storms hit land. Okay, so we've got this amplified system. Let's get specific. How does this play out across the regions? You mentioned three converging hazards. First up, Flooding in the West. Yes, that's hazard one. We're looking at a classic atmospheric river setup. Like a fire hose of moisture pointed at Western Europe. Pretty much. Targeting the UK, Ireland, Iberia especially. The big concern is prolonged heavy rain. How heavy are we talking? Forecasts suggest um, over 100 millimeters in some areas across maybe four or five days. That brings a really high risk of flash floods, river flooding, even landslides. Okay, heavy rain and floods in the west. Then you mentioned something surprising for the Mediterranean, hail. Yes, hazard two. A novel hail threat. It seems counterintuitive for late autumn, but those exceptionally warm Mediterranean waters are the key. Warmer seas mean stronger storms. Exactly. They fuel these warm tight, yeah. severe thunderstorms. The updrafts inside are incredibly violent. Violent enough to make big hail even with warmer air aloft. That's the finding. Right. Even with a freezing level that's higher than usual, the updrafts are strong enough to grow really large hailstones. We're talking potentially over five centimeters. Five centimeters, wow, that's golf ball size or bigger. And they survived the fall. Apparently, yes. They survived the journey through the warmer air below the cloud. That's a game changer for risk down there. Definitely challenges the old models. Okay, so floods west, giant hail south, What's the third hazard hitting the east? Hazard three, sudden winter onset. As the main storm system tracks eastward around the 8th to 12th of November, its circulation does something dramatic. It changes direction. It essentially pivots and starts pulling down extremely cold air from way up north, the Arctic Siberia. Ah, so that cold blast crashes into the leftover Atlantic moisture. Precisely. And that clash causes a rapid change from rain to heavy snow. We could be looking at widespread, significant snowfall, even blizzard conditions across Eastern Europe and Western Russia. So their first major winter storm arrives with a bang, basically. A very sudden, severe bang for a region likely not quite ready for that intensity yet. What's fascinating here is, well, the sheer complexity for anyone trying to manage things on the ground. Logistics, for instance. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Imagine you're running supply chains. You could be dealing with flood disruptions in, say, France one day. And then needing plans for massive snow closures in Poland or Russia just days later. Exactly. Simultaneous opposing risks across the continent. The management challenge is immense. It really feels like a textbook example of what the IPCC talks about. Climate change amplifying existing weather patterns into something more complex, more dangerous. It really is. And it forces a rethink, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Especially for sectors like agriculture or insurance that rely heavily on historical data. That data might not capture these new 
amplified risks like the giant hail threat. Those low frequency, high impact events suddenly become maybe not so low frequency anymore. That's the worry. So if this kind of convergence floods, giant hail, sudden blizzards all tangled together becomes more typical for an autumn setup, what does that mean for the long term? What fundamental changes are needed for our infrastructure, our planning, to actually cope with this level of simultaneous hazard complexity? That really is the critical question, isn't it? How do we build resilience for a future where these complex overlapping events are the new normal? It certainly raises an important question.